Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to get a better understanding of what we mean by unit vector, in this case, the three unit vectors in three dimensional space. So the three unit vectors are small little vectors pointing in all in the three directions, in the x direction, the y direction, and the z direction. And the length of each of those small little vectors is equal to one. So by definition, the length of each unit vector is simply equal to one. You say, well, one, one what? What are the units? And so yes, it does usually involve units. So no matter what the vector represents, if the vector represents a force, or the vector represents a length, or the vector represents uh, uh, an area, and yes, vectors can represent areas, then the unit vector of it is simply the vector divided by its magnitude. So if it's expressed in pounds, or in meters, or in feet, or whatever it may be, when we simply then take the derivative, not the derivative, but we simply find the unit vector of that, we simply find the length of one unit in whatever dimension is that we're talking about. So, we'll talk about units later, but at least realize that it doesn't matter what the units are, the length of that vector is always going, always going to be equal to 1, or I should say the length of the unit vector is always going to be equal to 1 in whatever units we're dealing with. So, you can see that the x unit vector, which is also defined as the i unit vector, has a length of 1 in the direction of the x axis. The y unit vector, which is also expressed as the j unit vector, has a length equal to 1 in the y direction. And the z unit vector, which is also the k unit vector, has a unit of 1 in the z direction. Now let's say that we have a vector, a simple vector, that's pointing in the y direction only, and that has a length 5 in the y direction. So this is how you can re read it. It has a magnitude of 5, and it's pointing in the positive y direction. So what we can say here is that we have the vector a, which has a magnitude a, times the unit vector y. So what that means is the magnitude of the vector is equal to 5, and it's pointing in the direction of the y unit vector. It's pointing in the direction of the y axis. So if we want to calculate what the y unit vector is, or the j unit vector, we take the vector and divide it by its magnitude. And that's essentially the definition of a unit vector. A unit vector is equal to a vector divided by its magnitude. And in this case, the three directional unit vectors, i, j, and k, are vectors pointing in the x direction, in the y direction, in the z direction, divided by their magnitude. So here's an example of a single one of those. A vector pointing in the y direction, it has a magnitude of 5. I take the vector, I divide it by its magnitude, and I get the unit vector in that direction. So since a is defined as 5 units in the y direction, and I divide it by the magnitude, the 5's cancel out, and I simply have the direction. So unit vectors are basically indica indicators of the direction of the vectors. What's the magnitude in the direction of the x-axis? What's the magnitude in the direction of the y-axis? What's the magnitude in the direction of the z-axis? The directions are defined by unit vectors, and the magnitudes, well, they're defined by the magnitudes of the vectors. So here we have another way in which we can represent the unit vector. If we have a vector, A, which is defined as 0, 5, 0, 0 units in the x and the z direction, but 5 units long in the direction of the y direction, then we want to find the magnitude of that vector, which is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the individual components or the individual magnitudes, which in this case is going to be equal to 5. And then if we take the, if we want to find out what the unit vector is in the y direction, we take the vector, which we know points in the y direction, we divide it by its magnitude, and we get the unit vector representing the unit vector in the y direction. So hopefully that clears things out a little bit. Maybe I confused even more, I don't know, I hope not. But if that helps you, this is how we define unit vectors in the three directions, and that's why they're sometimes called the three directional unit vectors that define the directions of vectors in the x, the y, and the z directions. That's how we use unit vectors.